Hi, I'm Henry from FSW. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how an aft CG can actually make an airplane more efficient. To understand why this is true, we need to look first at all of the factors involved. First of all, we have the center of lift, also called the center of pressure. This is the average point of lift on the wing, and what is essentially a fulcrum that all of the forces of an airplane act around. Second, we have the CG, or center of gravity. It is always in front of the center of pressure and counteracts the downforce of the horizontal stabilizer. The horizontal stabilizer is essentially just an upside down wing that creates downward lift. These three factors act together with the CG and downward lift balancing on the center of lift to make the airplane stable and easy to fly. When we have a forward center of gravity, the horizontal stabilizer has to create much more downforce to counteract the center of gravity, which is now much farther from the center of lift. It's a bit like a teeter-totter. When we move one downward force away from the fulcrum, we need more downward force on the other side to counteract it. Because the horizontal stabilizer is now creating more lift, it's also creating more induced drag, or drag resulting from the creation of lift. This increased drag makes the airplane less efficient. The opposite is also true. When we have an aft CG, the horizontal stabilizer has to create less downward lift to counteract the center of gravity. This makes the airplane much more efficient since there's less induced drag. For general aviation aircraft, an aft center of gravity, especially when out of limits, is almost always something to avoid. This is mainly because an aft CG makes recovering from a stall or spin almost impossible. It also makes the airplane much less stable. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, and happy flying!